Hi, Instagram. Good afternoon. This is your girl, Amiable to you. This is the first time I'll be going live on Instagram. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm just here because um, I'm quarreling with Facebook. Don't mind me. Okay, so today, please put that name. Oh, my name is Oluwata Yossi Faluye. I'm the founder of Be Unashamed platform and foundation beyond ashamed is about people who have been sexually abused and um hi there and who are health challenged i was sexually abused i've been health challenged like for a very long time so many years of my life <sighs> um i've been having series of discussions and you know teachings on sexual abuse i've had a guest um, who had to talk about, you know, his experience, a guy actually, his experience on uh, sexual abuse when he was a child. Okay, so today, the topic we'll be looking at is types of sexual abuse. I hope you know that sexual abuse is not just rape. It's not just rape. There are different, different types of sexual abuse, like different things you can categorize as sexual abuse. Okay, um, let's start with what is sexual abuse, in case you do not know. Um, I'm going to define sexual abuse according to the American Psychological Association. It says, it's the unwanted sexual activity with puppet, um, penetration using force, making threats or taking advantage of victims who are not able to give consent. Like... When you when you take something that belongs to someone by force, when the person is not releasing it to you, but you just have to take it anyways because you want it by force. And so that is the same way with sexual abuse. When you when you have a sexual intercourse or you molest someone one way or the other, we're talking about the types of sexual abuse so you understand what I'm talking about. Um that is what is called sexual abuse. Okay, now we'll look at the, the types of sexual abuse in the sense, like in the sense exposure, pardon me, in the sense exposure, in the sense exposure, I, I categorize it as um, visual, okay, let's, let's do it this way, visual part of, type of sexual abuse. Hello, Michael, good afternoon. Um, indecent exposure, for instance, maybe an adult female exposes her body, exposes her body to maybe a young child. Um, mostly it is not the is it's not the the little children that are only sexually abused. Adults are also sexually abused. We know we have um, different cases here and there now. Um, the Uwa case, so many cases are going around now about this rape and all. And unfortunately, a lot of them led to, to death. But not all end in death, but it's unfortunate that some do. Okay, so now when we look at the, the younger ones, Maybe an, uh, an elderly person, a lady, goes, you know, nude and starts shaking her bum to, to, a, to a small boy or a small girl. It doesn't matter the gender, please. It could be a girl. It could be a boy. It could be, you know, any of the genders. So when the, when the lady starts showing off her, uh, uh, you know, her bum, a bomb, um, a, a private part to the to the little children, even to an elderly person. You know, they might maybe hold the person on stage and then doing all sort of things to the person. Maybe the person they start doing all this nude dance, and then, then where they beat their bum or they are rubbing it, shaking it. You know, just to arouse that person, and that is a form of sexual abuse. Then maybe let's let's look at the 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 male. Maybe the the male opens his genital and you know showing it to a little boy or a little girl. You know just throwing it around here and there, making the person very uncomfortable. So that is another part of another type of sexual abuse. And then 
there could be masturbation. A, a, it, it could be a female, it could be a male, they can be masturbating, like masturbating themselves, not even someone masturbating them, mas masturbating themselves and then making someone else to watch them. That is a form of sexual abuse. Then another press, another another type is maybe when uh, a lady holds her breast and start fondling it, you know, just showing it to maybe a little child. It could be an elder, like I said, like a, an older person, just showing it, to, showing it to the person, showing it here and there for them to see. It's a form of sexual abuse because you are already working in, in in that person's mind. You are doing something to that person's mind. You are sexually abusing that person. It is not until you physically touch that person, you have contact with that person, that you are abusing that person. Then we're still talking about the visual aspect aspect of um, sexual abuse pornography okay well uh, i i feel like i'm going to explain pornography in case if you do not understand what pornography is um according to the britannica it representation of sexual behavior in books pictures status um motion pictures and other media that is intended to cause sexual excitement hi 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 everyone that is meant to cause sexual excitement to to someone so and now when, when we talk of pornography when 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 you, when you when you make a little child watch this kind of a thing or maybe you you are holding someone on stage and then you are making them watch this kind of thing you are arousing them sexually you are you know you are you are creating an excitement in them causing their hormones to rise and you, you are you are you are abusing them sexually that is also a form of sexual abuse okay so um the second part of sexual uh, type of sexual abuse is the physical contact here this is where we have the penetration of the vagina or anus which is like categorized like sodomy by the penis or the finger or an object it could also be, you know, fondling, or access, and then intercourse. That is like the physical contact, physical aspect of sexual abuse. When you make someone to, okay, now let, let's let's talk about the little child. When you make a little child, as an elderly uh, an, uh, an elderly lady, you make a little child to be holding your breast and you can some if some are even crazy they make a, 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 a small child even their own child like that is older there was a lady that was telling a story in one group that i am she was saying it i am because her husband is not around and so she 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 misses her husband and in order to 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 i don't know i, I don't know how to put it like to, to, to bridge that gap, you know, fill that space, it makes the little boy of maybe like, I think four or five years to be sucking him and to be sucking her rather and rubbing her, touching her all, all around just so that she will not miss her husband. Imagine that, a mother doing that to her own very son. This is not a sucking child anymore. This child has been weaned and all that. Now, when you make a child start touching your breast or even sucking your breast, you can't even make another person do it, you know? When you do things like that, when it is out of their consent, this is something that sexual abuse is something you do out of someone's consent. When someone does not give their consent to, okay, I want to do this, I like this, okay, let's do it together. But you are forcefully taking it. That is sexual abuse. And now the physical sexual contact that we're talking about, touching of the breast, fondling of um, your breast, and then maybe it is a meal, you make a little child or even an, an older person to hold your penis as a guy, it is a sexual abuse. It is called sexual abuse. You are abusing this person. Even you are not, you are not yet having intercourse. No. When we then masturbation, you can even make somebody to, you know, masturbate you and all that. Um, uh, I, I don't know how they, they I think it's also, it's masturbation is, is, he doesn't have to be that person doing it to himself or herself. It could be somebody else doing it. You can make a child to, you know, masturbate for you and all that. That is also a form of sexual abuse. And all these things are very, very terrible. And they are the things that are going on in our society these days. And is I think... I, I, I don't I don't I don't want to believe that COVID nineteen has even helped all these evil perpetrators to you know to go haywire with what they are doing. It it it, it has become so rampant that is is becoming alarming these days. The way people are sexually abusing people around male, female, there is no gender that is not being abused. 
around them okay so um the excuse me the physical contact also we have the rape as part of it excuse me please This is what Facebook has sent to me today. We have the the rape to be part of it. And now, when we talk of rape, there are different types of, different ways rape can come. Rape by strangers, rape by intimate partners, your spouse, your friend. And then there is attempted rape too, and there is organized rape. Rape by strangers, they can just be maybe an arm robber coming to your house, thieves, or maybe some gang around they can just you can just fall uh, 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 unfortunately someone can just fall victim of that and you can be raped raped includes penetration like penetration of the penis then it, it might not be the, uh, uh, only the penis you can use finger they can use objects some it's the way they 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 want it. It's just the way they they want to catch their phone. You know, what, I, I I think a, a rape is just is all they want to do is satisfy themselves. They don't really care about the the victim. They don't care about the abused. Okay, so the 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 rape by strangers, it is is always very dif difficult because you don't even know who has abused you. And I, I, I'm not, I'm not saying it is better, but no, when you, when you have the rape by intimate friends, your partner, maybe your spouse, a spouse can rape. In case if you do not know, I'm letting you understand that today. Your spouse can rape you because when sex is taken from you by force, it is called rape. It is um, sex with between two partners, like husband and wife, is meant to be with consent, is meant to be with agreement, is meant to be enjoyed, not you know by force not not by uh, it is my right so you have to give it to me no it has it has to come from the other person so that is the way you can enjoy sex with your partner not like taking it by force so uh, your partner can rape you and then a, a female can rape a male male also rape female please don't let don't let um don't let us um think it is just the the the, the females that are being raped um, an elderly male can be raped, an elderly female can be raped, even by the younger ones too. Then, um, friend, there is this there is this story I heard recently about a lady. She was raped by a friend the first time, the second time another friend, and that friend even raped them to, um, like raped two friends on the same day in the same room without their knowledge, like. They didn't even, the, when he raped the first one, the other one didn't know. When he raped the second one, the other one didn't know. And, you know, when, you, when, you, when you're in this kind of situation, you know your abusers and you feel like, oh my God, I was abused by this person. And unfortunately, when it is someone that you really trust, you really feel like, oh no, this person cannot do me any harm. This person cannot do me this. I trust this person. Maybe it could even be like you're, you, 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 were hanging, you were hanging out and then you had to sleep over at the person's place or your friend's place and then one of the friends had to do that to you. It is very terrible. And unfortunately, when you, when you, when you are not even bold enough to even say it out, it becomes so terrible you find that that kind of a child you know trying to even stay away from school trying to stay away from friends even from family they they, they become depressed they become you know they, they start isolating themselves from everyone when you if, if, if you if you notice that with your child or with a friend why don't you just please ask them tell them you want to you are ready to listen to them you will believe them if there is anything they want to say to you because a lot a lot, a lot is happening these days that we don't even know. So many people out there, and we're in the, we, 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 at this, in, in, in this part of the world, maybe you, you, we just hear that people commit suicide, you might not even really understand. But in the Western world, they commit suicide for, you know, this kind of things. You won't even, you won't even know that that, that is the cause. And eventually, maybe when you start tracing their stories, and then you find out that, oh, really, they had gone through such things and you feel really sorry for them and that is it and then attempted rape oh uh, well some may say hey it was attempted it wasn't done please i hope you know 
the damage that has caused to that person. I hope you know psychologically how that person feels, how 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 it how it makes them, you know, some just it gives them the flashback. Even if it didn't happen, some of them will start thinking. Anybody that passed by them that looks like that person is coming to rape them. Anybody that, uh, maybe they hear a sound in their house, maybe on the door, maybe it's even the breeze, they would feel like, ah, they are coming to rape me again. Maybe somebody who passes by them and even touch them or necessarily, or maybe there was a push or something, they will feel like they, are, they, want, to, they want to rape them. So attempted rape too is, is as bad as when somebody has been raped. It, 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 when, when you were just molested, you were just touched. Please let, let somebody just come and touch you without your consent. Then you will know how it feels when you start feeling different kinds of breezes off, it blowing all around you and you don't even know what it's all about. Then you will understand what these people are going through. Some of them like that, they go into depression. Some of them kill themselves because of this thing, attempted rape. You would think, hey, because it wasn't done. Yes, but in their mind, it has been done. Their mind has been raped. Their mind has been abused. Their mind has been molested. So, they, you, in fact, the worst is done to them already. So, don't even think that because it, it, they, there was no penetration, there was no this. My dear sister, my dear brother, it is terrible. Anything that is done without your consent is very terrible. It's really, really bad. Then, we have the organized rape. Uh, gang up rape. For instance, you know, some people, let me, let me, let me just take a sample. Some people belong to cult and they vow. maybe they make a covenant, they made a covenant like, okay, and um, what you would do to become part of us is for you to go and sleep, maybe with two or three girls, and then they'll do it. Some, maybe they are robbers and they'll say, ah, whenever we go for any operation, when we see any lady, we just do it. And then some, all they do is, they, you know, all these, all these area boys that just stand all around where, where you, please. I want to digress a bit. I'm not saying it is wrong. We know the situation of the country, the, the situation of our, our, of our society. We understand. But please, parents, when you send your little kids on errand, especially those that are up around, please let it have a limit to where they can get to. And please let them be able to come back to tell you that, Mom, this person was trying to, this person did this or that. But when they don't even have the opportunity to talk to you, when they don't even have the courage to tell you something, maybe because they did not, they, they, they left two, two oranges unsold, you start beating them. How would they come tomorrow to let you know that somebody is trying to do this when the person has not even done it? If you are able to find out early, you can, you can maybe be able to help the child and then um, save the child from being a victim. Rather than start taking the child to the hospital and then, you know, start counseling the child and all that. It said um, obedience is better than sacrifice. It is easier to stay safe than, you know, treat, treating yourself here and there. So please, um, I, I was talking about gang rape. Some of these children fall victim. In fact, they are, they, are, they, are, they are the most vulnerable, I believe, because there are so many area boys all around that you wouldn't even see. When you, especially in places where you have the, the uncompleted buildings, um, you know, garage, all those kind of places, your children can be abused. Even no matter how old you are, you can be abused. You can be raped. And in fact, they wouldn't even do it in a in a in, in a way that you'll be able. Some they that you you will end up maybe having injury, having dislocation because it will not even be one person. It may be one, two, three, four, five persons that will rape you, and that is really really bad. And then maybe maybe um there is a lady that that flaunts around. You know, she has a nice shape. She's beautiful, and you know um so that uh, everybody can see her that she's doing. She she looks nice. You know, she just keeps um catwalking when she when she's passing in front of those kind of people. There are some people that do that. Why don't you just go gently on your own and just mind your business and face where you are going to? And you know, to stop stop attracting uh, attracting this kind of people to yourself. Please, I am not saying that pay abuse uh, victims are they, they cause this thing, but there are times too that we can also help ourselves protect ourselves, prevent this thing from, from, from happening. Maybe a guy called you. You know, there are ways to have lengths. Well, when, when I was young, even though I don't think I really did that, but you know, when a guy calls and then you say, who are you? Why are you talking to me? 
Why are you calling me? Am I your am I your level? Am I your mate? Please, there is a way you can you can discharge someone and just tell them, please, I'm 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 a bit I'm a bit busy. Can I talk to you some other time? Eventually they will if they I don't want to believe that um that when you when you talk peacefully to someone it can still help you one way or the other. Even though some of these rapists, they are very crazy. They don't want to hear. Even when you are pleading, please, Oku, please, brother, please, please, I beg you. I'm still a virgin. I'm still this. Hey, my mother is at home. She's sick. I'm just doing this and all that. But some people don't even listen. They just want to carry out their operation. They just want to do what they want to do. That is all they want to do. And then you end up being victim. But some, sometimes I will still advise that when, 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 you, when you are in the midst of people like this and you're already suspecting something like that, you're already designing something like that, why don't you just calmly tell them that? Can they just, you know, you should know the way to, to talk to them, to bring them down, calm them down, you know? Ask God to help you, to give you wisdom, to handle this kind of people. Because... Even one person is bad enough not to talk of two, three people raping just a person. It can be very, very devastating. It can be very, very bad. It can be very terrible. So please, I'm just begging us, try as much as possible to avoid it if possible. Then, teachers are raped by students. Maybe the teacher is failing them and they feel like the only way they can treat the, this, um, they, can, they can deal with this teacher is to, and then they will, they will arrange themselves, they will set themselves up, they will set the teacher up and then, you know, block him, block him or her somewhere and then they will rape. Female students rape. Male students rape. So don't get it twisted. They are all, they, we, every, is, is in, is in all, um, both gender. They both do it. They all do it. And then neighbors, neighbors can gang rape. Friends can gang rape. Students gang rape them each um themselves. They 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 they, they gang rape their fellow students. So it is it is everywhere. No 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 sec no section no set of of our uh, of our of our life is 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 separated or different from each other. We you can have it in the in the games. You can have it in the church. You can have it anywhere anywhere. It happens anywhere. So please. Be careful as much as possible and watch your children. Don't leave them all by themselves. And then another form of sexual abuse is child prostitution. When a child or even a teenager is lured or forced, like with a, 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 without their consent, into sexual activities. Um, I, I one of my previous videos I talked about, you know. There, there are some countries that I think is even legalized that some they, they allow child prostitution and their reason is that they are poor and so in order for the family to be to feed they, they send their little ones out to to prostitute and bring in money but they don't really even care about these children's health. They don't care about their well-being. They don't even know who it is that is sleeping with them. They don't know the sickness this person has. They don't know the reason why this person is coming out to come and carry a prostitute. All these things are very dangerous. When you allow your little child, you know. Uh, recently, somebody was telling me something. They were like, they are, they, they, they are two kids. And the parents are not like they are very rich or well to do, but they are okay. And they dress well for these children anytime, any day. But they were supposed to go for their end of the year party recently. Okay, the Christmas stuff in school. And the person that was telling me the story was like, she said everybody that they could read it on everyone's face, like they were they were they were disappointed with what those kids were wearing. Uh, I think children of about eight four or six years old, two of them, they were wearing a bomb short and then a spag and it was cropped up. When you say they are just little kids, they are not just little kids. Rapists don't want to know if they are little kids. There is no child that is little. Two weeks ago, a baby, a three, three, is this three months or six months old baby was raped by i don't know the age of the man and you need to see the intestine and everything of the baby came out of her 
Tommy. So, is she, is she, is she a baby to the rapist, to the idiot that did that to her? So please, let's, 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 let's dress our children moderately. I'm not saying that, you know, you, there are ways you can make your child look presentable, look attractive, but please don't make them uncut. Don't make them nude. Don't let them be nude. They don't need it. You as an elder, you, you maybe there is a way you know you can you can still you can still keep yourself, you can still hold yourself, you can still prevent yourself from being abused. But those little ones, they don't even know what to do. Especially in these days that there is not even in these days since I was young that I have known there has not been anything like a sex, sex, sexual education. It is now these days that we are now creating the awareness and telling parents, please educate your children. Let them know what sex education is. Let them understand what this part of the body is, what this part of the body is, what that is for and what that is for. What they have to do when this kind of a thing is happening to them. Please, let's keep our children. If you say child prostitution, okay, maybe you, you, you think it's until maybe you push the child outside to go and say, okay, go and bring him money. Your child that goes around hawking. That you think they hug. It may just be one customer that is buying it from them. Everything. They will just clear it. And then they will lay the child down. And then they will sleep with the child. They are prostituting. It is pro child prostitution. Please. Let's, let's. We know that things are not so easy. But there are still ways that we can do this thing. And make it really. And you know. And not be guilty. Eventually. And uh, when it, it, it won't get to a stage where your child would say, Mom, I, reg I regret you being my mom. There's this story I can never forget. That lady, that she wrote the story and said, Mom, if you are reading this, I want you to know that I hate you so much. Why? Because when she will come to complain to the mother that um, somebody is doing this to her or that, the mother will say, Who is your brother? You are lying. Go inside. You are disturbing me. And all that. And this child was every day. He was sleeping with her. Cousins, uh, cousins, friend, family, friend, all of them were sleeping with her. And today, she's still trying to eat because it is, it is, it is difficult on her. Really, really difficult on her. Another one is um, child marriage. I think that is very prominent in our, in this site. Nigeria. I mean Nigeria. In case if you don't know, I'm talking from Nigeria. Uh, child marriage, child marriage, child marriage. It exists mostly in the northern side where you have an allergy big man as old as 50 60 years marrying a, a an 80 year old child girl and you know this they do it like that they, they celebrate it like they are doing a good thing you I don't understand it's sexual abuse a child that does not even have breast a child that has not even started menstruating, you are pushing her into marriage. Please, what does she understand? What does she even know? She doesn't even know how to take care of herself as a child. Now you want her to start to, to start a family. And um, unfortunately, most of these children end up having VVA. Um, vesicular vagina fistula. A situation whereby the, the urinary, urinary tract and then the bladder, I think, they just open and the bust open and then there is um excess dripping of urine non-stop like that and that hey i think the the, the parts whereby you pass the the pieces too with the urine they come together and so urine and feces they just come out of the child's body like that and the child starts smelling some even condemn them they say they are witches and all that not knowing that it's as a result of 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 underage of what they have done to them. Please, if you if you are listening to me and you are from the north, can you just think about these children? Think about your own self. Put yourself in their shoe and just imagine the pain they are going through. You being an allergy and a, a, a man that is supposed to even be their grandfather according to the way your culture is. We are all Nigerians. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not segregating, I'm not saying you people are bad, I'm not saying anything like that, but I'm just saying that this thing is really common in the northern side, and 
is a thing we can stop. It's a thing you people can stop doing. It's a thing you people can just put an end to. It says it is not a very good culture. I am saying this. I am not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not shy about it. I am not scared to say it. I am saying it is a very bad thing. It is a very bad culture that you people have. And you need to stop it. Because it is affecting these children. You 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 destroy their life. You destroy their future. Some of them cannot even give birth again. And unfortunately, when things like that happen to these children, you just dispose them. You don't take them to the hospital. You don't treat them. You don't even know what is going on with them. And then they 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 they, they, they start walking around the streets, you know, and and flies follows them as their companions. Please, all these things needs to end. There are several other types of sexual abuses that we 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 that we can talk about but for today i think i've come to the end of the show if you have any question please you can put up your question if you have any comments i'm here to answer you if you have any contribution please i'm also here to listen and answer and also contribute if you have anything to say okay so once again be on a shame is a platform for people who have been sexually abused and we help people who have been sexually abused we educate them we help them we hold their hands you know through the healing process and you know give them hope and then people have been held challenged who are held challenged who needs hope and you know when you feel like maybe there is no reason for you to live again there is no point to your existence but we want to let you know that Everything that has happened to you was for a reason. I am here fulfilling my purpose. I would never have thought that um, when I was abused, it, it could lead to this. But here I am. I am happy with what I am doing. I am glad. I know that. I have, I, I have no reason to doubt what I am doing right now. I am very fulfilled with it. And so please, if you think like your, your life is not worth anything, I want you to know that you are not worthless. God loves you. Even more than you can even imagine yourself. And you know, there are people out there who are waiting for your manifestation. They want to hear your story. Do you want to share your story? Um, I'll be having a guest uh, next week. She'll be coming to share her story with us. And if you want to see my previous videos, you can you can um, go through the link in my bio to, to see them on my Facebook page. And then on the YouTube, to at um, Be On Ashamed with Amiable to you. I'll drop the link with this. Um, Instagram does not permit links. I'll find a way to do it. But be unashamed with time able to you. You can check that on YouTube and subscribe to it. Do not forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to follow the page on Facebook. I am be unashamed. Then you can also follow me, my personal page, Uluwate Safali. Uh, I do most of my videos on um, on my personal page and then repost on them the the on a shame page so thank you everyone who has joined today i really appreciate you i hope i've been able to pass um you know a reasonable message and a good one at that tangible sensible helpful and i want to also say it that please educate your children it is very important let them know what sex education is let them know that nobody nobody is exempted from from being an abuser anybody can abuse them even fathers abuse their children mothers abuse their children brothers you know siblings to siblings they do it please keep your children watch over them pray for them and pray with them god loves you i love you be unashamed is here to listen to your story if in case if you want to share if you want to come as anonymous we are also here there is the way we do it and no one will see your face while you still Tell your story and in case if you you don't want to even tell you can write it out please speaking talking is the first step like i i, I want to believe is the first step when you talk you feel relieved you can write it down you can write it down you don't have to even post it you can just write it down that in that way you are speaking then be talking to your god be talking to your maker if you don't believe there he is just just start talking and you know be calm and feel and try to listen and and and, and see if he will respond to you which i want to show you that you will do. God bless you. See you next week. Bye.